sometimes I come here to be just like one or two vehicles here. I guess a lot of people, you know, uh, come here and put out their scooters and are, are gone to the cabins. Vance is uh, going in hunting with me as well, but uh, you know we're only in our own family bubble, and he's in his own family bubble. So we're just going to keep like 20, 30 feet apart, right? Keep plenty of distance, and uh, you know they recommend six feet. We're going to be way beyond that. So most times when we're in there, we don't even see each other anyway. So well, guys, we had like a little bit of snow last night, not much, but at least you know we're able to see any fresh sign. Wow, look at that. That's the first one of the hunt. And uh, I just heard uh, Vance have a gunshot over that way and two more flight over there. And uh, job to uh, film it on the side of a hill here like this. So I'm gonna pick this one up. Yeah, hopefully get a, get a few today. You know, uh, the price of gas, you know, it's kind of low right now, really low. So one good thing about it is when the gas gets cheap, so does the meat. <laughs> yeah, so. I said, if I can now, if I can get up in double digits a day, I'd be happy because, you know, they're a bit on the scarce side of the year. Uh, I wouldn't say scarce, but when you're driving around, you can see that there's uh, feed all over the place. And normally a lot of that would be covered up with snow. And so then only the taller feed where the, the birds would gather more. But since there's feed everywhere, the birds just spread out everywhere there you know and it's a big land so <laughs> things spread out a lot anyway I get around good on the skidoo but as soon as it steps off you know it goes kind of deep what ding 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 there's some uh, really fresh up right there this is a little bit older but, but you know snow comes in all the time so this is just uh maybe uh hour or two ago so there's a couple of birds around here somewhere maybe fresher there Getting around here in places. <laughs> Gee. Deep in places. Whew. Tell you once the uh, mulls up a little bit, they softens up, man. It's gonna be gonna be hard getting around. Cape Caribou River just sizing it up here. He's starting to get, uh, starting to tie up pretty good now. The holes there, you see a lot of those holes out edge up there, and it looks kind of slobby. Uh, we were gonna cross over the other side only if we get to a real good place. Not gonna take no no chances, you know. <laughs> we're gonna play it safe. But don't wanna get reckless out here, you know. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't know if this river's real deep or not, but man, it'll ruin your day. You know, you get a screw down that. Vance is stuck here a little bit, but it's on first part we're showing here, so he's gonna go up that way and I'll keep on this side and 
anyway, let's see what happens. I got one. If I got one or two more for a good feed now, I'd be happy enough. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Now we're gonna have too much trouble there. I tell you. The purpose is we get the day. They're not gonna come easy. Days like today, you gotta be grateful for each and every permican you get. Good thing to get. Yeah, I can see these tracks here. You know, we're true, went on down that way. But you know, they could travel fast and cover a lot of ground. And try chasing that snowshoes could be nearly impossible like this. So uh, I know it's one thing for sure. There's gonna be permican in the roaster tomorrow for Sunday dinner. Look at that. Woohoo! Wee! Yeah. Now see, this is going to be fun right here, <laughs> oh my, that's it, nothing venture, nothing gain guys, take it all in stride. Oh shoot. Tell you now, skidoos are not meant to be for uh, climbing trees. Oh boy, I'm into it here. Not too bad, I'm gonna cut down here out of it. If I got to, I'll cut that big one. I might be able to do it with just this one right here. And I don't know. What? She won't drop on me. I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to jam up my blade, though. Just a little bit through time. They're settle down there. Can't get no help. Physical distancing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. I moved back out of it and Vance has gone in there now, just to keep our distance and we're going to take our turn, uh, get that big one down out of it. Well, we got her. Perfect. Got a good pat there now. And you know, that's one reason I keep the gun in my shade a lot. Go along with that, sometimes going on your back could hook and uh, can really hurt you. So, anyway, we're going to keep moving on. We're going to start traveling back here now. We hunted this area last year, but it was a lot more snowing around here. It's kind of hard for getting around, so. We're gonna work our way back and uh, hunt around where we already killed a couple two. I just got two right here below. <laughs> Ooh, look, that sounds good. Two shots. Hopefully my buddy got two <laughs> or more. Just keep an eye out now, see if I see anyone flying or anything. Yeah, we see we come back this way, so that's a good plan. We're working hard. We're working hard for this primary in the day. It's not always easy. Secure it into the snowshoe. Kick, twist, rotate. And there you have it. One right there. And another dandy down right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of difference here, not nearly the snow. So it's a little harder getting around, you know, because there's a lot of the way the terrain is. But anyway, 
good exercise, I tell you. Uh, sweating, honestly. Uh, you know, where the machine is cutting this kind of snow net, and you got to be on your, you're on your toes all the time. You know, working the machine, throwing your weight around. There's some sign around. We're on the banks there, so you know, the birds is all spreading. Footing's everywhere, so you really got to be looking all over the place. Probably around the edge of the woods somewhere. It's a bit older here, but I don't mind that when you're probably something like this. The birds all over the place. It's a little fresher down that way, though. Sir, what a view! Oh, my that good. Now, our plan was uh, to meet on this side of the river before we crossed. So I'm just going to wait here for in here now. I had a drink of water and I'm going to enjoy some uh, moose jerky that I made not too long ago. Mmm. Very tasty. This time of year, you know, you got to be really careful when we cross here. We see a real slobby patch up right there, and that'd probably be open for too long. You can almost see too on the other side, you know. Another few days, that could be all slob and open up. Man, this is good. I'm just gonna say, I hear some coming there, and just heard a gunshot. So, all right, season now. I had these in my pocket. It's kind of bad too, sometimes you reach for a shell and grab it empty. Well, it's coming along right there. I looked over and saw a tree. I fired two shots and I got four killed. <laughs> yeah, so it adds up kind of quick like that. Yes, sir. I tell you, a lot of people after the cabins and hunting and stuff. Can't blame them either. <laughs> well, anyway, Vance, buddy, it was a good hunt. Number one. I'll give you a call later on night. I'm going to go home and have a little refreshment. Well, I must say, we had a good hunt. Uh, conditions for traveling on Skidoo was kind of tough, but uh, we got a few birds out of it. We ended up with uh, 10 each. Getting a, a couple ready here now for a Sunday dinner. And what I normally do is uh, I pick you the ones that got hit like, a little harder. I eat those up first. So those two is going to win the roaster today. And the other eight will go in the freezer. And I'll put some of this, these heads and gizzards and livers in the pot as well. Ooh, 
Stuve.